President. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for taking the time to see you again. It's lovely to see you again. Mr. Foreign Secretary, Ambassador Yitim, thank you for coming. Not the first time. I think we know a lot about each other and uh, we are very thankful for all that big support, really big support, what uh, UK gave and given, still giving, and we hope will <laughs> prolong this support to Ukraine. Thank you so much. And uh, we had, uh, during last weeks, we had some conversations with Prime Minister, uh, some direct dialogue, and I think very important decisions. And I want to thank for the last one. It's about opening possibility for training missions for our pilots mm -hmm. on fighter jets and uh, also the possibility to open discussion uh, about coalition of patriots. That is also very important. I'm happy that all the leaders understood that during this period of time when we have such big escalation by attacking of different kinds of rockets. Mm -hmm. And during all this period when we don't have EF fighter jazz, we need really something to close the sky. And we understand the name of this something. Well, Mr. President, thank you, and uh, it's very, uh, it's, it is genuinely lovely to have the opportunity to see you again. I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful. I know that your your time is precious, and it means a lot to us that you're willing to make the time for me on this visit. And and I have to say, it's a um, it, it's a pleasure to come back to Kiev. Uh, my last time here was in the winter, uh, and it was cold and it was dark. But this time, I can see there's more life in the city. Uh, the traffic is heavier, um, which normally is a bad sign in a city, but I think for me, it demonstrates what I've known to be true, and, and that is um, that the Ukrainian people are not going to allow themselves to be broken by this. Um, and I think that, um, I think, you know, you're very much leading by example, but it's, it's for me fascinating to watch the Ukrainian people, even though there are drone attacks, even though there are alarms going off through the night, even, even though you know, Russia has tried throughout the winter to break the infrastructure of your country, to break the will of your people, the Ukrainian people keep refusing to be broken, yourself included. And it's lovely, it's, it's lovely to see that in the city now um, uh, with the better weather. But as I said to our team at the embassy, I recognise that the sunshine and the leaves and the flowers shouldn't distract us from the fact that there is still very, very much uh, work to be done. When we made the commitment publicly that we would continue backing you and your country until you are victorious in your self-defence, we meant it. Um, when we said that we would do more and go further, we meant it.